all guys. Uh, my name is Jake, and this is uh, Lola. Uh, we are glad to have uh, hope, hoping you tonight. And uh, let me quickly explain you uh, the Ogres uh, concept. Uh, the name of Ogres uh, means grand. So uh, first to the last course, almost uh, seven drinks. And this is our welcome snack. Whiskey Sufi Avalon and a fresh tomato with uh, cheese oak. Enjoy. And there's a uh, house champagne there more. Hope you enjoy. So we will go to the uh, first course. And the first course name uh, is Exotic. We choose uh, four different spices from different uh, places. So you can choose one of them, then we will use that to make as a drink for, for you. And as the first course, the drinks we won't make it very strong. Normally it will be a spritz or a easy drinking style. So take a look. Uh, from China to onward, and uh, Iran is uh, mm. saffron, and then Madagascar, Vanilla, and uh, the Sigali from Cuba. Uh, I will choose the old wood. Old wood. Certainly. Mm. The old wood we use it uh, do sous vide with the uh, vodka because the uh, old wood will be a elegant flavor and aftertaste as well. And I will use this to make it a uh, spray style, will be easy drinking, but you get a little bit of uh, floral flavor as well. Then we pour, pour a little bit the uh, old wood vodka and the uh, the Chinese or Samantha's wine. This one this wine normally we use to make uh, with the food for dinner as well. So a little bit sweetie but uh, a little bit dry uh, floral taste. And then top up with a little bit dry tonic. Have a try. Thank you. The second course, uh, the name is uh, Unique. So this part, we will have uh, uh, small dishes to pair with uh, this drink. And we choose uh, uh, cheese. This one is a 36 month uh, counter cheese. And uh, it's a savory, a little bit nutty. So we will use a uh, cortical rosa. It's using the Napa Valley uh, cabinet French oil to make sure for one month. So we're using tequila to pair with it. So uh, we'll go to the uh, next course, uh, it's fresh. So this part will go to the cocktail part, then to refresh your uh, palate. So as the name fresh, so we must use the fresh ingredients. So we prepare for three different uh, fresh ingredients. First is the white um, corn. And this one, this corn is uh, not as the, the yellow corn, will be more sweeter and also a little bit of uh, milkiness from, from the taste. And the second is the tamarillo. And this one actually is a plant in uh, Yunnan province. When you uh, slice it, the flavor smells like a, uh, a little bit raw mango. And uh, the palate is like a tomato, but also the, the aftertaste is like uh, passion fruit and guava. And the third one is a finger lime from Australia. So when you slice it, inside the, the meat is like a caviar. So uh, normally, uh, this uh, finger lime they will use it in the Japanese restaurant. I'll choose the finger lime. One second. So, as a drink, normally the peat, the finger lime is a fresh, citrusy, a little, a little bit uh, acidy, but it's a full, very refreshing. So I will make a, a tea punch, but I make like a, a old version style. So I will use uh, two different rum, the French rum, because the French rum is made by the uh, fresh uh, sugar cane, so we get a little bit grassy and also more fruity as well. And then the uh, English rum is made by the Mozart, 
but it's an original style of the rum style. So this one will be the dry aftertaste, and then will be sweetened by the um, the manala syrup. Some bitters to get a little bit long aftertaste. Thank you. Mm. And then just pour it inside. So you can just enjoy it like that. When you sip it, the drink will be a little bit um, rich, a little bit sweet. And then you can use the um, finger lime to balance the, the palate. Then we go to the next course. It's, made, uh, it's named Rare. Rare is uh, not means that the drink is very rare, it's very expensive, but it's rare because it's hard to find and hard to make again. So this part we will choose two different uh, brown uh, spirit. First is a uh, Guyana rum, and secondly is the England single malt. This Guyana rum is very unique. It's very Fruity as in normal, normal rum you, you try, but also you when you sip it, the taste is not like a rum as well. We get a more like a cognac and more booty aftertaste and even a little bit earthy. Mm -hmm. So to take a sip first, then I will keep explaining you why, why it's uh, so unique. The passion fruit with mangoes, but when you sip it, this goes very uh, rich and bold. Not just like a uh, Spanish style rum would be very uh, smooth, but uh, less lesser uh, length. This one will get you like like a cognac after aftertaste. It's because this rum is aged in uh, experiment barrels for for twelve years, so that uh, fruit in it tropical uh, flavors uh, from that, and then it make mature in their uh, family cognac cask. Because uh, plantation is not just making rum in uh, Caribbean, but also making gin on it and the uh, triple set in France as well. And then the last year, it matured in the tequila cask. Cost work, found the choice. This one will be a little bit strong. It's a uh, cast strength, single malt. This uh, single malt is a uh, very uh, young, because the cost work just found it in 2014. So maximum uh, five years to six years. You when you smell it, you get a little bit a uh, raw, malty uh, flavor, but also very rich, uh, woody, and uh, malty uh, flavor as well. The master blender using a, a special technique to to make in the cask. They buy a wine cask, but they scratch inside to remove uh, that uh, layer inside, and then they retoast it and rechart again. So. That create a uh, different layers and flavor, and also will let the uh, spirit get more deeper into the wood to sip in more uh, woody flavor. And normally, when you're enjoying the the dark dark spirit, then we will have something to pair with. This will go to our uh, an, another course uh, named Age. We choose five different uh, type. The first one uh, is the port neck. And the second one, this is the uh, Iberico shoulder ham. And this is Sassina, 12 uh, months age. And another two salami. So after the uh, tasting and the coconut, almost the last part, and this part we uh, name it surprise. And this one is a Glen Phoenix Snow Phoenix. And why we na name it a uh, surprise uh, for, for this course? First, Glenfiddich Snow Phoenix is because of an uh, accident. Actually, in 2010, around January, the warehouse cannot hold the uh, weight of the heavy snow, so they uh, cracked the warehouse. So the the distillery they rescued the um, the warehouse. 
they found few barrels and used that barrels to uh, make this um, snow phoenix. They make a surprisingly good product. And this snow phoenix, they use a lot of uh, Oroso Sherry uh, cask matcher whiskey. blend together so you get a little bit strong hint of the chocolate flavor but also Glenvitic is a very um, light easy to enjoy whiskey so you still get get that uh, style that's a very clean refreshed but also a little bit sweetie aftertaste that last one is on us so this part I will make a, a high ball for you We have some uh, cooler stuff from the uh, last 20 years. Then we will use it to blend it and make a vintage hypo for you. There's three different grains. We get, get a lighter, easy, easy drinking palette. Refresh as friend, they're only free pouring. Huh? And then I will whiskey uh, black bush, more uh, malted whiskey inside, so you get a little bit richer aftertaste. And then the last one, this is uh, a famous grouse 15 years, but it's a uh, bottle in uh, 1995, so that means the whiskey stays back to the 1980s. And as we know, Fimic Grouse normally is blend with uh, Macallan and the Highland Park. Amazing. Enjoy.